Hey guys, so it is post op day the 31st, so 31 minus 12. 19, day out post 19, post, <laughs> post op day 19. Gosh, okay. That means I'm two weeks and five days post op. It takes me so long to figure out. I just put on a little quick outfit today because I am about to go on a little walk, a stroll around the neighborhood. I do have class in 30 minutes and I'm kind of bored. So I figure I can get up and start moving around a little bit. I haven't had my faja on all day. I was washing it this morning and then I forgot to take it out of the dryer. So this weather is brutal y'all, brutal. Where is my little clippy? I had a little clippy to keep my AirPods on. Over it. I got these from Nature Sunshine. They are supposed to help body perform natural lymphatic drainage function. So, yeah, when I get back, I will take my Floridix and my Nutriverse, which is my liquid vitamin. I can say that it's been working because I was like 170. Eight when I left Miami back down to 168 three pounds away from the lowest that I have been during this Weight loss journey. So super super excited. So yeah, let me go ahead and go on my walk and I'll talk to you guys when I get back to finish up my walk class starts in three minutes so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk back down towards the house but walks have really helped me like get vitamin D this whole process is stressful and kind of depressing like you're home alone you can't drive you're not independent so I find that walking kind of helps me not be depressed and lay around all the time either and it helps me drain and it helped me get back to my pre-surgery weight in like two weeks three weeks so that's pretty good i think my swelling is going down for the most part i still swell in certain areas but overall i think my swelling is gone i'll be three weeks on friday and it makes me so happy so i'll talk to you guys later in the next vlog hope you guys have a great day and good luck on your journey if you are on your journey bye hey guys it's shay welcome back to my channel i wanted to come to you guys today to follow up with my last video just wanted to come and make a short quick video today to kind of show you guys where i am at two weeks post-op I will not be completely revealing my body, like taking my faha off or anything like that because I am still healing. And when I tried to film this video earlier without my faha and a regular outfit on, I swole up so bad. So I did at least take my foams out so you guys could see what I'm working with. But um, yeah, you guys can kind of see my waist. And you can see from the back here um yeah so I wanted to tell you guys some information that you guys have been asking me about the surgery where did I go I went to dr. Rami Garani at Jolie plastic surgery after this month after the much of March after the month of March he is no longer going to be located at Jolie he will be at prestige aesthetics center which is his private practice along with dr kagan who both um both surgeons came from jolie a lot of people are asking about his bedside manner and how was he um he was very blunt straightforward like i didn't show him any wish pictures or didn't really tell him 
much of what I wanted. I just knew that I wanted more projection. My butt was a good size. It was just kind of flat up at the top and it didn't have any projection. So, um, yeah, I had a little something to work with, but not a lot. So he definitely gave me some curve. Um, really liking my results so far. I know that I still have a long way to go as far as healing, but so far, I'm really loving everything about it. I should have got my arms done, but I didn't. So I'm gonna be working on my arms, backs, and shoulders, trying to slim them out on my own without lipo. If you guys don't know, I did lose about 35 pounds before surgery. So yeah, I can just continue that after i think he said we can start doing light exercises after a month and then working out after three months i think that's what he said don't quote me how much was it so my surgery was 5500 and i also had to pay for a cell saver which was 550 dollars and i had to pay for a drug test which was 25 dollars so i am gonna say that just because i spent this amount on the surgery like I gave that much to Jolie. I did end up spending an additional two thousand dollars or so. It's not just I go pick up my booty and then I leave. Um, you do have to stay in Miami for a certain amount of days and make sure that you are eating and well. So recovery has been pretty well. I've not really been in any pain, so I'm no longer taking pain meds. I am retaining a lot of fluid right here in my back. So if you guys see an extra hump here, that's what that is. And maybe it will settle down into the rest of my butt. Like, I'm not really sure, but this is where we are right now. I don't have any foams in, but I will show you guys how I put them in. Stage two within the first four months. He doesn't even believe in the stage two, so he wants us to stay in the stage one for a whole month. Period. So my next few videos will consist of um, compression tips, any other questions that you guys have about the process, um, about my doctor, about the surgery center, anything you guys want to know about that be sure to leave a comment down below because i will be doing a part two to this video um i just answered some vague questions in this one but i do have a list of specific questions that you guys have asked me i just want to compile them into one big video we'll be answering more questions in a part two as well as trying on some new clothes for you guys i also have some old clothes that um, I had before my BBL. So I will be trying those on as well. This is what we're working with. And I need to go ahead and put my phones in because I am getting swollen. I'm getting so swollen. <laughs> I 
Hey y'all, we are out here getting ready to go to this food truck. Say hey sis, hey Kiara. Gotta get her life together. Oh, I love your mask. You got a Patrick mask. Yes, ma'am. With the shades. Need the shades too. I'm through. Yes. Okay. I'm hungry as hell, y'all. They want fried sushi. I don't know what I want. I smell some barbecue or something. Okay, so that's a Hawaiian place. They got fish. Oh, that's what I smell is fish. That's what I was saying. They got some chicken balls. They look good. I just want to try stuff. Chicken balls. They got burgers. Swiss and American. This the place you want. Right here. The sushi. Fish. Hawaiian. All around. Good time. Okay. We got the food. We got my sushi. I'm about to let y'all know what I think. There's only two. Yeah. Um, I thought you said you got three rows. I did it. Three rows, but only two boxes. Mm hmm. Let's see what this cupcake here for. Try the icing. The icing is good. Mm. That's good. Cupcake. You know how something be so fucking good? You gotta save a little bit, a little taste for when you get home. That's a good ass cupcake. What's her name? The Springs Cupcake Truck. Kira got four. She already knew what it was hitting on. I should have known better. There she go right there. Zoom in so y'all can see. Okay, now you magically want a burger. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Quentin. If you watching this. It look like somebody walking it over to me right now. Hallelujah. God is good. But yes, y'all, that was good. Now I'm already done got full cause I got this damn faha on. Can't even breathe, let alone eat. But that's all right. Mm-hmm. Girl, one of them little, what is it, Hawaiian, Korean? That little ball. Oh, yeah. Hawaiian. It was, I think she's Hawaiian. It was the teriyaki chicken fried the chicken The teriyaki ball. fried chicken rice ball. That shit was good. Everything out here, the only thing I haven't tried is go fish, the fish place, and then the sausage place. And they got a grilled cheese place out here too. Drive up parade for her daughter. <laughs> so cute. Get on video. Wow, look at all your friends. That's so cute. Hey girl, I missed you. How are you? Help your sister pass out her bags. Have you seen my baby? He's in the car. Do you want to see him? <laughs> His name is Quentin. Remember I showed you on my phone. Quentin. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Here, give him his gift. Uh-oh. For you. Oh, honey. Is that for my tea? Wow, did you help mom make the bags? Yes. Wow. Bye, bye. bye, have a good day. Happy birthday. Bye guys. That was so cute. And I got to see one of my speech babies. Okay. Are we ready, boo boo? Where's your bottle? What'd you do with it? What'd you do? They got all the gifts. It was so cute. So people are like driving up, giving gifts, and I think that is so cute. Okay, get my concoction set up again. Let's see it up a bit. We are going to Chick-fil-A. Oh, okay. Not that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another video from me. Hit the thumbs up, turn your notifications on so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Video.
I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.